one I want to ask you about was uh, Top Gun. It's a classic movie. Everybody loves it. And obviously, Heaven in Your Eyes was from that. Now, how did that come about? Was that something that was written especially for the film? And did they approach you? Or what was the, what was the story behind that one? I got asked to, to attend a meeting in Los Angeles. So I hopped a plane and went to Los Angeles, entered the Paramount Studios lot. And I found the office for uh, Simpson and Bruckheimer. Now, they were the team and they were doing the movie. And I walked into this giant office. It was a big, huge office. In the middle of the office, they had a, a, one of the popcorn machines making popcorn, so it really smelled good. And they're pacing and they're walking back and forth and talking to each other as they walk back and forth. <laughs> and the secretary told me to go in. And so I went in and I'm standing there and finally they both stopped and looked at me. And they went, can we help you? And I said, you wanted to talk to me. I'm like, you know, from Loverboy. And he said, you think, oh, oh, good. Come over here, come over here. And they went around the corner and there was a TV set up, a VCR, so they plugged it in. And it showed the, the black, old black Porsche go screaming up the hill, chasing the, the motorcycle, right? Tom Cruise was on the motorcycle. And then he parked, he went, he went in and he put a quarter in, in the jukebox. And they, and they stopped it there. He said, can you write a song for that moment? And I said, being a ballsy Canadian, I said, absolutely, I can, we can write a song. <laughs> and I said, when do you need it? He said, Thursday. I said, you know, today's Monday, right, guys? <laughs> right? You know what I mean? But he needed it in three days. So I said, I, I phoned Paul and said, let's get that song we were working on. Because um, we hadn't finished it, but it would be perfect for the movie. And they put it up on the thing and started putting some parts in. And I flew back and I went in and sang it. And we put some harmonies on it. And, built a whole new bridge that kind of had something to do with the movie. And then we mixed it and sent it down by Thursday. Wow. I mean, it was one of those crazy times and they put it on the album and the album sold like 27 million. It's like insane. That was a real <laughs> experience for us. And then, you know, it kind of, I think what happened is they wanted kind of something like the thing I did for Footloose, which was almost paradise, right? Yeah. And I think that one came out first and they saw how much that sold. And they said, we got to do a soundtrack with rock bands for uh, Top Gun as well. So it just like one fed off the other, as, as it does so often. And uh, it just turned out great for us. And I remember when uh, I got the opportunity to do Almost Paradise, I picked Ann Wilson immediately. So a lot of people don't know, but the cart spent about 11 years in Vancouver. Yeah. Um, they were trying to get out of, uh, out of Seattle for a while. And, probably because they didn't want the boyfriends to have to enlist in the army or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we laugh about it now, but it's, you know, oh, yeah. uh, pretty serious. You know, you go from playing the guitar to shooting a rifle. I don't think so. So, so they were up there playing all over, all over town. And I remember, and they were really great at doing Led Zeppelin stuff. And that's really kind of what they're famous for. And then they started doing their own stuff. And it turns out we recorded, uh, Heaven in Your Eyes in the same studio that Hart recorded two of their biggest albums in, called Mushroom Studios. And uh, when I was asked to do it, I said, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, they said, you could choose whoever you want to sing. And before he even left the room, I just said, I'd like to do it with Ann Wilson. So they set it up and they, and they made it happen. And uh, wow, what an experience that was. Absolutely. And just in terms of the, the songwriting process there, you, you mentioned yourself and Paul. I mean, do things happen that quickly? Because that, that sounds insane to me to be asked on a Monday to, to come up with a song and have it all finished by the Thursday. I mean, is that something that you guys are so finely tuned that you can do you, you could do that sort of thing? Well, first off, it wasn't written immediately after it was written before then, but we changed it for the movie. Okay. Uh, we needed to. This was a song that we were probably going to put on our next album you know, big ballad. Yeah. But when the funny thing was when, when I did Almost Paradise, Paul sat, he wanted to talk to me and he, you know, he's a pretty serious guy, he's a good friend. We've never really had an argument, but he said to me, Mike, if we do, if you do that, if you do that love ballad, it may just kill the career. I said, what are you talking about? He says, cause we don't do love ballads. You know, we don't do soft, soft songs. And I said, well, Paul, let me just tell you this much. In my opinion, if the song and the movie do nothing, then nobody cares. And if it does big time, then everybody's going to watch it and it's just <laughs> going to make everybody, you know, better. And nowadays, if my wife's with us, because she sings it with me normally, um, nowadays, if she travels with us, we'll do almost paradise and the crowd goes crazy because they really love the song. So it turns out 
you know, that they, when they asked this Top Gun, they wanted a balance, kind of, you know what I mean? So it yeah. all worked in our favor. But, you know, the song was kind of half written. And when I came home, we basically recorded it and finished it. Otherwise, I don't think it would have happened. So that was, uh, you know, thanks to a few friends of ours in uh, Vancouver that kind of had, they were in the studio and they had, they, they were getting going and Paul went down and we, we got going on it, we finished it, we put the drums on it, we did this, we did that. And we made it happen in that record time, which is really kind of when I look at it now, it's like, wow, that's insane. It really is insane. 